Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I teach mainly English and math. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon. Let's get into our lesson today. Okay, last week we talked about street food. For example, cheeseburgers from US, Sovlaski from Greece, noodles from China, and crabs from France. Okay, let's look at the questions that I gave you um, last week. Okay, question one. Where do cheeseburgers come from? The cheeseburgers, they come from US, right? They are from the US. Question two, what are cheeseburgers? Cheeseburgers are meat with cheese in bread, right? They are meat with cheese in bread. Next question, what is Sovlaski? Sovlaski is meat with vegetables in pita bread, right? Meat with vegetables in pita bread. And um, where does Solaski come from? They are from Greece. Okay, Solaski comes from Greece. Okay, next one. Tell me about noodles. Okay, noodles. Noodles, they are from China. And you can have them with meat and vegetables or in soup. Question six, what are crepes? They are like thin pancakes. Okay, let's look at the answer here. They are like thin pancakes. Okay, you can eat it with cheese or with jam or chocolate. Okay, so these are the questions I gave you last week and one more exercise over here. Okay, we have two houses here, Bob's house and uh, Sally's house. Okay, the first one, whose fridge is this? Now look at the color here, this is Bob's. It's Bob's. So you put B-O-B -B apostrophe S, okay, because to show belonging. It's Bob's. Okay, number two, whose armchair is this? Question mark, whose armchair is this? Let me type it. It's, whose armchair is purple? Purple is Sally's, right? So it's Sally's. Again, you need to put apostrophe S okay apostrophe S okay um, number three whose bookshelf or bookcase is this question mark and uh, you look at the color is a uh, green so it's Sally's so you put Sally's name and then apostrophe S to show belonging Number four, whose <coughs> mat is this or whose uh, rug is this? It's red, so it's box. It's box. Okay, let me type this properly. Whose arm? Um, chair is this okay right section two you just need to write there is or there are so a cake can you see a cake here a cake there's only one so we use there is there is a cake on the floor number two chairs can you see chairs with an s so it's plural, plural we use there are, there are more than one chair. So there are chairs on the bed, number three, and look, there is, because there's only one mat, there's a mat. And lastly, sleepers with S, 
plural, we use there are. Okay, let's read what a mess. There is a cake on the floor. There are chairs on the bed. And look, there is a mat on the table. There are slippers and cushions everywhere. Okay, do you still remember where do the food come from? Okay, for example, <coughs> okay, um, so lasky comes from Greece and noodles come from China, right? So, so lasky, number one, they are from Greece. So we write Greece here. Okay, this is crabs. Crabs, they are from France, right? You look at this picture here. Crabs come from France. So we write France here. You remember to use capital letter when writing proper nouns, name of countries, we use capital letter. Cheeseburger, they are from the United States. So we write US. US stands for United States. And noodles, they are from China. Okay, I just want to show you some pictures of this food. So here we have noodles. Okay, noodles can be in soup or just dry noodles without soup, like this. Okay, all these are without soup, dry noodles. Cheeseburger, I'm sure you are very familiar. Cheeseburger, you can get these at McDonald's, Carl's Jr. Right? Cheeseburger. Then we have crabs. Okay, it's like pancake. It's a thin pancake. Right, you can put strawberry, blueberry, cheese, chocolate. Delicious. Then, last but not least, we have solaski. Okay, you can see a plenty of meat here. We also have tomatoes, onions. Right, solaski. Yummy. Okay. Now, I will read to you an audio clip and then you need to find out what is in Peter Sovlaski. Number two, what does Mary want for dinner? Number three, what is Pierre eating? Okay, question one. What's in your Sovlaski, Peter? There's meat, yogurt, and tomatoes too. Are there any onions? No, there aren't. I don't like onions. Okay, did you get the answer? Let me read again, yeah? What's in your Solaski, Peter? There's meat, yogurt, and tomatoes too. Are there any onions? No, there aren't. I don't like onions. Okay, so there's meat. Okay, there's meat here, A, B, and C. There's yogurt. Only A has yogurt. And tomatoes. All three have tomatoes, but only A has yogurt. So which one is the answer? The answer is a. Okay, did you get it correctly? Okay, let's listen to what does Mary want for dinner? Mary, do you want noodle soup for dinner? No, mom. Can I have noodles with vegetables, please? Noodles with vegetables? Yes, please. Okay, one more time, yeah? Mary, do you want noodle soup for dinner? No, mom. Can I have noodles with vegetables, please? Noodles with vegetables? Yes, please. Okay. So which one is noodles with vegetables? This we have noodles. This we have vegetables. And only this we have noodles and vegetables. So the answer is B. <coughs> Okay, last one. What is Pierre eating? What are you eating, Pierre? I'm eating a crab. What is in it? Mmm, chocolate. It's a chocolate crab. My favorite. 
Okay, which one is a chocolate crab? Is this the one? No, this is a bar of chocolate. This is chocolate crab. So the answer is B. Okay, for today's homework, there are two uh, tasks for you. The first one, you just have to read. Okay, you just have to read. So when you read it, you just put a tick. For example, you read this um, bookcase. If you can read it, you put a tick. Fridge, and then tick. Cupboard, armchair, mat, clock, mirror, radio, painting. Okay, and then you read this also. Door, floor, wall, downstairs, hall, garden, dining room. <coughs> there are a lot of cushions. There is one mat. Where's the boy? He's behind the tree. Where are the boys? They are in front of the trees. Whose trainers are these? They are Tony's. They are his. Okay, so this is the first task. You just have to read. Read for your parents if you can. Okay, and then you ask your parents to, to tick for you. Okay, you ask your parents to tick for you, you read for them. Okay, that is the first homework. It is just reading. Okay, the second homework is this exercise here. So I'll attach this file on Google Classroom. So please complete this crossword puzzle here. And look at this picture. You have to write some sentences based on what you see in the fridge. Okay, you can use the words here. Okay, again, there is for singular, that means one item only. There are for plural item, that means for more than one. Okay, so that's all for our lesson today. I'll see you in school soon. Bye-bye.